Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces for HCl. This is hydrogen chloride. So the first question we need to ask, do we have ions present? Since this is a molecular compound and there's no negative or positive sign, we don't have any ions present. So let's just get rid of this part right here. Now we need to know whether HCl is a polar molecule, and it helps to look at the Lewis structure. So there's a pretty big difference between hydrogen and chlorine in terms of electronegativity. So we would expect that this would be a polar molecule. Let's look at this in three dimensions to get a better picture of that. So here's our HCl, the green, that's the chlorine, white, the hydrogen, and the chlorine is more electronegative. So we'd expect that it would have a partial negative charge because the electrons in the bond there would spend more time with the chlorine. If we look at the surface of the molecule, we can see that the red there that's more negative on the chlorine, and then the hydrogen, that's the blue area, that's more positive. So we do have a polar molecule with HCl. So we have a polar molecule, then we need to ask, are the hydrogen atoms, or the hydrogen atom here, bonded to fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen? In this case, it's bonded to chlorine. So we say, no, hydrogen's not bonded to fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen here, and we have dipole-dipole forces. So the intermolecular forces present in HCl, we have dipole, dipole, and all molecules exhibit London dispersion forces. So we also have those. This is the predominant intermolecular force. Note that we don't have any hydrogen bonding here for HCl, and that's because we don't have fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen bonded to the hydrogen. Chlorine is a fairly large atom, so we don't have hydrogen bonding. This is Dr. B with the intermolecular forces for HCl, hydrogen chloride. Thanks for watching.